The memory of the Lost Resistance Army insurgency on northern Uganda is still fresh in the victims' minds. Filda, a resident of a box A in a box up county, Oyam district, saw her husband and son die in cold blood when the rebels attack a box IDB camp in 2004. <laughs> After the incident, Filda, a peasant and farmer, remained alone to take care of 11 other family members, which he says is overwhelming, and one of her daughters who had just completed senior four disappeared from home because she could not continue paying her school fees. <laughs> Filda's story is not any different from Julius Peter Tim, whose father was also shot dead and burnt in the same attack and has been struggling to raise over 35 whose parents were killed. <laughs> On the 8th, June 2004, LRA rebels commanded by Dominic Ongwen attacked a bok camp currently in Oyam district and massacred over 28 people, burnt houses and left several maimed and others traumatized up to now on seeing their loved ones die in cold blood. The name Ashidwogo started from here. The women around here were saying, ah, no, fire is back. Because uh, Kalingwala has come. So the name Ashidwogo started from here. And anything, even a, a house, even a, a tree, he has not even planted a tree here in memory of what has happened. Philip Sogila is the new chairperson of a box up county whose headquarters sits on the memorial site. This place you are seeing was fully camp. People were not rehabilitated here, like in other places. Rehabilitation can be by words, can be by material forms, can be in any form. Recognition alone is a form of rehabilitation. In other areas, like in Barlon and Abia Memorial Site, government has since built vocational schools, which is not the case in Abok. People who testify in ICC court from here, they are not, some of them are not even victim families. My coming here and as a chairman has already started identifying those ones who were killed, the victim families, on record they are fully neglected. Local leaders, victims and those who lost their loved ones are now pleading to the government of Uganda, ICC and well-wishers to rush to their rescue. People are traumatized, people are killing each other, people are HIV positive, people are so many. If corona goes off like in 2021, we are also calling you, Your Excellency, to come and also lay rough. Every year, the community here would gather at the memorial site to pray not only for the souls of their innocent loved ones, but also to heal themselves psychologically. People around here, they are traumatized. As a spiritual leader, we need to pray for them, to assist them, and the government should come in to, to build something that will help them to forget what had uh, happened in the past. Behind me is the monument that was constructed in 2016 in memory of the 28 people who were massacred here in Abok on the 8th of June 2004. But what is also painful is that the community here is yet waiting for any form of support from government and other well-wishers up to now. I'm Eddie Olua, reporting for UBC News.